Alright guys, okay. Sipal Sanggari menjadi kejohanan jelajah PSA Emas Klasik London 2024 buat kali pertama dan kali terakhir uh, kejohanan yang dimenangi oleh Datuk Nicole and David At first place, you of course lah, uh, as a athlete kita ada perancangan dan kita rasa macam I mm. I need this championship mm. So untuk this time, you expect tak you boleh pergi sampai final dan you champion? Uh, of course, um, something, uh, you know, I, I've been training very hard to, you know, win and uh, beat all these top players. Tapi to expect to win the tournament, it's a bit crazy to think about that, to, to expect. Um, but, uh, you know, I also believe uh, every, nothing is impossible. So, you know, when I first beat uh, the world number one in the quarters, um, that's when I started to believe in myself more and I know I can, you know, beat these players and then, Yeah, after that, uh, beat world number four and world number two as well. So it's it's something that I didn't expect. I don't think anyone expected this, but you know, it's it's a it's a good confidence for me and um, it's a good self belief that I got in myself. Wow. Oh. Amazing. Okay, after your winning, did Dato Nicole David say anything to you? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Check out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, she obviously wished me congrats and uh, you know. Asked me to keep going. I think I also saw an article about her saying that you know. I think people started comparing me and Dato Nicole, you know. But Dato Nicole is a legend in her own way, and I also have a different path. So I think she she asked me to take my own path and uh, be unique in my own way, which which I agree as well because what she's achieved is crazy. It's it's unbelievable, and um, uh, obviously I I wish to become someone like her. But um, again, it's it's a uh, two different people, and I want to be different as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But if you have to fought with Dato David Ooh. in her prime, who would win? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I mean, me and uh, Dato Nicole. Obviously, we both have two different game. I think that uh-huh. I played her. I played her right before she retired in Asian Games in Jakarta, 2018. I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, I played her in the last Asian Games finals. I lost three two. For me, it was good for me. Like it's an honor to be one of her last matches before she retires. So okay. I can't say who's going to win, but we both have a different, completely different game. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you both are Malaysian champions. Malaysian champions, yeah. yeah. Macam yeah. dia kata, jadi kan you punya idol is your enemy. Sekarang, if I'm not mistaken, you adalah number thirteen dunia. Yeah. So within this year, you target you boleh pergi number berapa, Siva? So uh, from now on, I still have three more tournaments to end the season. Uh, in June and uh, my target hopefully to break into top 10 lah. Wow. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully you hopefully, you will yeah. be the number one lah in, ah, the in the world. Uh-uh. Nothing is impossible. Yeah. That's the ultimate goal for sure to be world number one you know but um, yeah, I have a, I have some small goals also you know before reaching world number one so for now the short term goal is to become top 10 by end of the season hopefully yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, mm-hmm. Terima kasih banyak Siva Sanggari meluangkan masa bersama dengan kita. Maybe you ada last word kepada peminat-peminat you ataupun rakyat Malaysia yang memang sentiasa menyokong you. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, thank you for for all your support. You know, I think especially after London Classic, you know, my social media semua followers dah ikut banyak. So, ah. you know, keep, su- <laughs> keep supporting us. Uh, keep supporting me. Keep supporting the Malaysian athletes and, you know, we we'll, we'll always try to give our best out there. Uh. All right, right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.